Hi guys, it's Sam from Elementary Technology and I'm here today in our Customer Experience Centre in Leeds to do a video on how you can integrate your AVA Visualizer with a Chromebook. We've had a lot of requests from schools recently asking if we can pair a Visualizer with a Chromebook and the answer is yes. Uh, there are two ways. In the first instance, you can plug the Visualizer into your Chromebook, open the camera app and it will give you the option to switch cameras between your webcam and your visualizer for displaying purposes. And um, alternatively, what we can do is we can add a Chrome extension onto a Chrome browser called Sphere Lite, which gives us the added benefit of doing our annotations. And I'm just gonna show you how to do that now. So all we have to do is open a Chrome browser like I have, um, search for Sphere Lite, and it will come up right away at the top. Um, and as you can see, we can add to Chrome, and then we add the extension, it'll take a couple of seconds, um, and there we go, perfect, so that's in now. So, you'll notice in the top left hand corner now, we have a little jigsaw piece. This little jigsaw piece will be visible every time you open a Chrome browser, and it will give you the opportunity to use your visualizer straight away. All I have to do is press the jigsaw piece, open the sphere light, and there we go. Now, it'll take about 10 seconds to recognize, but as you can notice at the top here, we have two, and the bottom, sorry, we have two toolbars. This just gives us the benefit of being able to annotate and some further more details that are gonna help your lesson deliveries and save teacher time as well. There we go, um, it's picked it up straight away. I'm just gonna press the um, autofocus button on here. There we go, perfect. Now, um, in the first instance, we can annotate over the top of anything or we can highlight as well. So really good for um, live marking and peer assessment. Um, we have an underlining option here as well, so if you wanted to draw specific attentions to specific questionings or assessments, you can do. Um, there is a text box as well, so if we wanted to type in a label um, over the top of something, so let's just put three as an example we can do. So you can label different things and still have the interactivity with your class. Um, we can erase whatever we've done over the top. Um, and also we've got different colours as well, so let's say you're doing some scaffolding, you can assign different colours to different areas of that piece of work as well, and you can remove them as you go along. Um, you can make your lines thicker if needed for more boldness, and also one of my personal favourites is um, the arrow tool. Now this just saves you time, gives you the ability to address a specific area, so let's say we wanted to focus on this speech bubble, I can just draw a line into that straight away instead of having to draw an actual arrow, um, and it just addresses the pupils to the place you want to focus on as well. There is an undo button here at the top, or a redo, if you make mistakes. Now, at the bottom, you'll notice we have the camera option and the video. So the camera's really useful because you can take pictures of completed work and it will save the annotations over the top as well. Gives you the ability to give instant feedback, as, which is very important at the moment. And the um, recording tool here, we would just have to press record. It's got a built-in mic, as you can see, it's picking up my voice there. Uh, lesson segments are very important to record at the moment because it gives you the ability to share to pupils who are perhaps off self-isolating at the moment, who have maybe burst their bubble, or you can share them internally to other members of staff using the same curriculum as you to save time moving forward. And lastly, in the bottom left-hand corner, sorry, bottom, uh, yeah, bottom left-hand corner, um, we can actually use the um, zoom tool here, so you can see the U70 Plus, which I'm using, has a really good zoom, and it gives us a clear image. So really good for modeling, waggle, etc., and showing different 3D objects if needed. And there's a freeze frame as well, so you could freeze on a specific piece of work, and you could change it underneath, release the freeze, and it would go on to your next piece of work. Um, Everything is saved in here as well, so your pictures will save, which you can then save on your Chromebook and export. So um, that is pretty much it, guys. So just a couple of things to remember there, that um, the Sphere Lite is a slightly reduced version of the Sphere 2 software that comes with every other visualizer, but you still get a lot of benefits for teaching and learning. And if you want to see this in action yourself, we're doing remote demos or demos to schools, we'd be more than happy to come to you and, and show you how and expand as to how this can help for teaching and learning. So um, please get in touch. Thank you very much for listening.